Now imagine, you wake up from the greatest nap of your life, in your home which is a cave of course, you even get given a brand new phone, then you get your clothes out of your favourite chest, how amazing right? No, the world has become a post-apocalyptic place full of monsters and death, and an old man who follows you around. Look, I know exactly what you're thinking, Zelda isn't scary, it's a game for children, it's easy. That my friend is where you're wrong. Zelda Breath of the Wild is hard. I've been playing for a week now, and I only just figured out you can cheese the mini guardian enemies with bombs. Coming from one person who sucks at games to another, this game is hard. So here are some little tips and tricks I wish I knew before playing Zelda. Food is king. If you make the right food in this game, you'll never die. You can make all types of different food. Food that gives you electricity resistance, food that gives you extra hearts, food that gives you stamina back, but that is merely but a scratch on the surface. That my friend isn't quite that simple. As in real life, you need a recipe to make food. Now you don't literally need a recipe, you can make any abomination you want. But only certain combinations will give you the buffs that you want or need. Now don't get discouraged or feel like an idiot when you make some dubious food. Which will be hard as the game plays a sound and a gross image which will make you only feel awful about yourself. But these things can be avoided by reading all the descriptions under ingredients. Don't go throwing things in willy nilly, otherwise you'll only waste your precious gourmet meat. Pick up everything. From the start, when you leave your caveman home, look around and you pick up every apple, every Hylian mushroom you see. All the recipes I just talked about require a bunch of food, and trust me when I say you'll run through it quick. Your 10 apples will turn to zero in no time. You'll have to destroy some of the natural ecosystems, as when I say everything, this includes animals. No, I don't mean go grabbing the goats, but instead grabbing smaller critters like lizards and fireflies. Oh, and if you see these things, you must sneak up and grab them quietly. They are one of the best items in the game. Leading on from the last tip, do not be afraid to use your weapons. You might see durability and be like, where my sword's gonna break. And to that, I say you'll get a hundred more in no time. The amount of weapons I have saved in my inventory then had to throw out 15 minutes later for the inventory space is way too many. So use your damn weapons. Unless they have like 50 power, then who cares? Use your 12 damage hammer, go crazy. This does not mean you should just throw out every weapon though. Like a hammer is always going to be useful for breaking open rocks and getting resources. And some weapons will have status effects, such as inflicting electricity onto an enemy. But when it comes to your 3 power woodcutter's axe, yes. I know you've been carrying it in your inventory for the past 10 hours, use it. Cut down some enemies, add some trees while you're at it. You're already hurting the environment, so why stop now? The bomb ability is one of the most useful in the game. You don't even need a weapon for half the game if you have the bombs. Honestly, I know I just went onto a rant about not saving weapons, but if you're low on bows or only have shit ones, throwing the sphere bomb and then switching to the cube one is a great damage dealer, all the way to late game. And if you think you are a speedrunning god or something, you can use the bombs to launch yourself across the map like some kamikaze pilot. This is called wind bombing, and it honestly will save you a bunch of time while traveling. If you're willing to take the damage and the time to learn it, as a side note, imagine you're walking through a small forest or a field and you stumble across a 15 foot tall ugly ogre cyclops that gets up and chooses violence over love and talking it out. But one way to fight back is you can use your magnet ability to defeat the big motherfucker, which is called a Hinox, with a metal box. It may be one of the best ways you can ever kill a creature, so take advantage of it. Do you know a better way to kill a giant than beating the shit out of it with a box? Get hearts. So many hearts. If you're like me and are, how do I say this, bad, then you might want to invest your spirit orbs into getting heart canisters. Some of my friends who play Souls-like games all the time went full stamina, and here I am. I haven't even attempted the Water Blight Ganon, as I'm too scared I'm going to get stuck in a loop of getting one shot. So I've discovered over half the map and I have obtained around 8 hearts currently. And that is even without attempting the first proper boss of the game. And if you think I'm a gigantic pussy, you are right. But also, even with this amount of hearts, some enemies will still one-shot me. Like the beefy boys in the Yiga clan have this air slash attack, which will kill me when I'm at like 6 or 7 hearts instantly. So there will be parts of the map which will be so much easier and less brain numbing if you get the hearts early and often. Trust me, you are not as good as you think when you first start. Here are some honourable mentions. If you see a red dot point at you and some scary music starts playing, run. Don't even look around. Do the snake maneuver and run as far as you can or hide behind a rock or something. Guardians are off the table early game. They will fuck you up. Nothing humbles you more than being one shot by an eight legged spider looking robot that shoots lasers. Never trust anyone who's on the side of the road waving at you. 
because they will transform into a Yuga clan member and fight you to the death. So the best way to beat this is by bombing them, the solution to all the world's problems. Always be ready to fight any merchant ever. Don't trust anyone. Learn how to shield parry. I know I told you to run far away from guardians, but if you learn to shield parry, you can kill guardians by not even attacking. I know, this sounds way too good to be true, but it's not. Just don't fuck it up, okay? Sell shit. By that I mean like all the gems, like topaz and sapphire you've acquired. I'm a dumbass who thought I might need it for something in the future. But nah, not important enough to keep a hold of, they also sell for a shit ton. So go crazy and sell all of it to one poor merchant. With all that being said, you could ignore all this advice and still get by. It is a kind of game meant for kids. So, but if you give up just because it's too hard, then don't come crawling back to me saying I was right. I know I was. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and comment down below what tips you might have for some new Breath of the Wild players. And do not trust the old man.